Haley Deegan's out. Joey Logano is in at AM Racing. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. So earlier in the week, or last week at this point, we talked about how Haley Deegan is having an absolutely abysmal rookie season in the NASCAR Cindy Series. And I asked, is the time is it time to pull the plug on the Haley Deegan experiment? Well, AM Racing apparently thinks that this weekend is a good time to pull plug just a little bit because they announced on Monday that Haley Deegan is out of that number 15 car following her 28th place finish this past Saturday at the National Super Speedway. In is Joey Logano, two-time NASCAR Cup Series champion and winner of this past weekend's chaotic NASCAR Cup Series race at Nashville. The team said that they're doing this move for this weekend to help have Joey Logano help them get an idea where they stand right now in terms of performance. So the 15 car is a car that has an alliance and comes from Stuart Haas Racing. It should be running better than where Haley Deegan currently has it at. In 17 races this year, Haley Deegan has two top 15 finishes, one of those coming at Las Vegas. And remember back in 2022 when she finished 13th at Las Vegas and everybody was like, the Xfinity car suits her driving style so much better than what the trucks are, get her up to the Xfinity series. Well, it turns out she might just actually be good at Las Vegas only because all the other tracks she's raced at this year have been absolutely abysmal. Her other top 15 came at Talladega. Outside of those two top 15s, she's had a pretty bad year. Eight finishes uh, of 30th or worse in 17 races. She's 27th in the NASCAR Xfinity series points. That's last amongst full-time drivers. I mean, heck, Eric Onroll has only raced in five of the 17 races this year, and he's still substantially ahead of Haley Deegan. She's about to be passed in points by Matt Benedetto, and if his team could put lug nuts on faster than 30 seconds like they were David Gillen's number 84 team from Kentucky back in 2006, he'd already be ahead of her in points, and he's only started 12 of said uh, 17 races right now. So for Haley Deegan, Obviously, it's you know not a good look to get benched by your team. She does bring the sponsorship to that team. I'm interested to see how all of this plays out, especially if Joey Logano goes out there and performs well. And honestly, this Xfinity field is stacked pretty pretty well. You have Shane Van Gisberg and AJ Allmendinger. So right there, there's just two one guy, two guys that are probably going to run one two in this race. It feels like you have Cole Custer who won this race last year, pretty stout. Ty Gibbs is in this race this weekend. Connor Mozak's in this race. Ty Dillon's driving for uh, JD Motorsport. You have Daniel Suarez in this race, um, too. There's a lot of names that are in this race, and it's going to be interesting to see where Joey Logano slots into the fold with this 15 car. Is it good enough to run up front? So last year, with Brett Moffitt behind the wheel of the then 25 car at AM Racing, they had a pretty respectable year. They contended for a race win here and there. They had one top five finish, nine top tens. They finished 17th in the points, and they were a fringe playoff team if they you know had stolen a win you know maybe at a plate track or something like that they would have been in the playoffs but they at least ran you know pretty respectfully respectfully and everybody was like okay this might be a good landing spot for Haley when they announced her because obviously the team does have speed at least they did with Brett Moffitt Brett Moffitt's a good race car driver he's definitely better than what Haley Deegan is and when Haley moved up you I think people went into it with an open mind yeah we saw what she did in that one Xfinity series race um at Las Vegas and that car was definitely better probably better than the cars that she's racing in right now I don't think anybody expected it to be this bad. We obviously saw her in the truck series, and she was never that good, even though she was in race-winning equipment week in and week out. Contrary to what her fans will say, David Gillen Racing, which is now Tricon Garage, that is race-winning equipment, championship-contending equipment, Thor Sport, race-winning equipment, championship-winning equipment, and she just could not ever contend in those cars. So moving her up to the Xfinity Series felt like a real shot in the dark. They were trying to go fishing and hoping to catch something, right? Trying to catch lightning in a bottle. Trying to think of other random <laughs> random things that I can compare this to. It was just, it was a hope and a dream. And that's exactly what they got out of this. They were hoping that it was going to be better. They were dreaming that they were going to get the results they wanted. And unfortunately, reality set in. And Haley Deegan just isn't the NASCAR driver I think that people were hoping that she was going to become. She's a really good off-road truck racer, right? Maybe that's where her roots are. Maybe that's where she should go back to because the NASCAR experiment just hasn't worked. And I said in my other video, I think probably she got moved up the ladder a little bit too quickly. When she won those three races out in the k and West series, she was driving for McAnally and really good equipment can mask the uh, deficiencies that a driver has. And I think that's a perfect example of it. They move her up to the ARCA national tour. She never wins a race. She, you know, gets a top five here and there and looked okay. And then they immediately put her up on the truck series. And honestly, she probably should have done two more years in ARCA, if we're being completely honest. And that's just because she didn't grow up doing pavement oval. She didn't grow up pavement racing. And she doesn't have the experience, the know-with-all on how to set up these race cars and what she needs out of the cars. Throw that, or combine that rather,
rather with the fact that she's just not very aggressive behind the wheel and you get the results that you have which are pretty mundane up to this point and that's why you have am racing going out there and making a change right now when you get to chicago i mean her starts and qualifying right now in the xfinity series on road courses has been absolutely abysmal i think her best qualifying effort right now is 27th and her team desperately needs her to be better because in owner points she could very easily miss this weekend's race if she goes out there and performs poorly that's why joey logano's in the car they can't afford to miss a race now people will ask Will she get a waiver for this? No. NASCAR will not grant her a waiver for the team pulling her out of the car the same way that they didn't grant a waiver to Grant Enfinger when he didn't have sponsorship to continue on and he had to miss a race. It's an unfortunate decision. They hand out waivers for everything, but they have been pretty consistent on not handing out a waiver for you missing a race, whether the team pulled you out of the car or whether you didn't have sponsorship, something along those lines. So Haley Deacon's hopes of winning a championship, which were probably slim to none at most, are certainly none now. So we'll get to see what Joey Logano can do in that car this Saturday at Chicago. Packed out weekend. Excited to be up there and see how it goes um, for Haley. I guess you come to the racetrack this weekend. If not, then you head up to Redbud and watch your brother race in 250s for the outdoor championship. But yeah, um, I can imagine it's probably brutal for her uh, this week, but racing is a cutthroat business. So we'll see what Joe Logano can do. Like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.